This morning in Going Places, we continue our spring getaway travel series this month. Here to share some tips for packing up for that trip is style blogger Matt Simcoe. Good morning. Good morning. I think we all want to get out of here at this point. We do. It's cold. It's <laughs> wet. It's snowy. It's mm -hmm. time to uh, head for the sunshine, I think. Yes, and you have a, a lot of different items here, some tips for packing. It can be very overwhelming. It can be exciting, but nerve-wracking at the same time. And, and you have to know what piece to start with first because every okay. piece of luggage or a bag really serves a different purpose for a different kind of trip. Okay. Um, so I think when you're taking a short trip or if you are going somewhere local, mm -hmm. a nice big tote bag is really the way to go. Mm -hmm. uh, you can fit so much in here and really, really fill it up. Yeah. Wow, this one feels durable it too. It is. It's really durable. This is a really nice canvas tote bag. And what I love about this one and what you should always look for in a tote bag is the bottom of this has this rubber rubber lining around the outside of it, oh, that's yeah. going to keep it waterproof and sort of water resistant. If you have to place it down exactly. somewhere and there's a little bit of moisture. How many times oh. have you done that, right? Too many. Too many it's times. Like stepping in a puddle with socks on. Yeah. Ugh, it's the worst. <laughs> that is like the worst it's feeling. It's the worst. Yeah. Everyone knows that feeling. It's terrible. Exactly. And then a nice big zipper on the top of it too mm -hmm. will fold everything in. Yes. And that's really important, especially if you're getting on a plane, a train, a bus. Mm -hmm. You want that zipper to make sure it's locked in there tight. If you're just going in the car for the weekend, and you can absolutely just uh, leave that open top. Okay. But a good tote bag, I have used this one many, many times, mm -hmm. and uh, it's treated me well. You're fitting so much in there, you too. You do, and when, and when you use a tote bag like this, you have a lot of vertical space, yes. so you can actually roll up your clothing and put it in that way. Huh, interesting, okay, With very a suitcase good. like we have, you want to lay it flat to get those nice, thin layers. Are yeah. your jeans monogrammed? My jeans are monogrammed. <laughs> that is excellent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Maybe yep. I'll just cover up the edge. <laughs> and I can borrow them. Very nice. Those are, um, you know, That's cus really cool. custom <laughs> denim isn't as expensive as you think. So. <laughs> All right, we're, we'll move on. There we go. What else do you have for us? So one of my uh, one of my tricks when I travel is always carry a little pouch with you. Yeah. And in here you can have all of your necessities like mm -hmm. your charger, yeah. right? In oh, case your bag gets time. lost or if you're stuck in the airport. And then I always take an external charger with me. These are these power packs that you can charge mm -hmm. before you go on a trip. Put that in your little pouch and carry it with you at all times. Yeah. And that way, in case your flight's delayed or if stuff is stuck in your bag, you'll have it. Mm -hmm. And my keys, right? I always keep my keys in here. How many yes. times have you gone on a plane? and said after seven days of vacation, where are my house keys? Where are my car keys? Right. Now you're digging through your whole suitcase. If you keep them in the that. same place every single time, you will always know, always know where they are. Great. And then we have some of the big guys here. Obviously, yeah. you, you got to use a suitcase sometimes. Definitely. And that's that's a bag that you would check. That's I think it's mm -hmm. a 28-inch uh, rolling suitcase. Those have the four wheels on it. They're fully articulating, which means they'll go in any direction, right. nice and smooth. And that's a hard shell suitcase. Again, you don't have to worry about staining or anything getting wet because you've seen how they throw that luggage on the belt. Yeah. And, and it's in all kinds of weather, in snow, in rain. Mm -hmm. This is not going to get anything wet. And That's also great. with the hard shell, you're able to use more space, the top and the bottom of that suitcase. Ah. So you can do, you know, if two people are packing them, each of them can have their own side of the suitcase. Yeah, and it's use those little nicely. buckles that use they come those. with Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Those great. are nice and uh, pack down your clothing. And layer, layer on this one. Okay. You want to lay your clothes flat. And, and how about uh, this other guy? This looks like something that we could probably take onto the plane. This with little us. guy is my favorite. They actually make these 18 inch suitcases now, and that's the vertical height, uh -huh. to fit perfectly under the seat in front of you. So you get oh. all of the benefits of a rolling suitcase, but it fits under the seat. So if you're not concerned about legroom, like myself, because I'm not that tall, uh -huh. you put this under the seat, and that way you avoid any baggage fees. Most airlines, this consi is considered your personal item because it can fit under the yes. seat. From budget airlines to national airlines, they're charging for carry on bags now as well. Yeah. This bag will absolutely avoid that carry-on fee. I've used it many, many times. Oh, that's and you can great. pack about three or four days in here. You it looks like it yeah. has a lot, even the different pouches and compartments that it that it comes with. And the, really the convenient. Curved top on it as mm -hmm. well. That'll get you all the way in under that seat and that gives you a little bit of extra space. You can put your shoes or flip flops or anything right in that in that top part. Uh -huh. So you don't have to take up any of that valuable space inside. And it's always so nice to keep some clothes in your carry-on too just Definitely. in case your bag 
bag goes missing, and so that's a good. This tip. is good if you're checking if you're checking your bag mm -hmm. and you want to keep a carry on, but pack one full day of clothing. Right. This is a great piece to use. And I, this guy takes me everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to have to ask you for that information <laughs> on that. I, I think I might be purchasing that one. That's a great little item Quick there. Quick tips: always purchase a better quality bag than you think you're going to need. It'll last a long, long time. That's true. My everyday carry on, the one that I use the most, I've had for over 15 years. Wow. And it's still rocking. It's heavy because old suitcases are heavy. Mm -hmm. But if you invest in a quality piece, you're going to use it for years and years and years. That's really true. How often are you buying a suitcase? Absolutely. Right? And you want it to last. Perfect. Great tips to get us going on our next spring getaway.